Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. He could be tough to like, but I agreed with him most of the time. So, we were assholes together, I guess. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Are you okay? I should be asking you that. Before, in the attic. It's nothing. What's nothing? Let's just keep moving. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where their next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking through two. Nobody's sweet on doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there.
I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. don't have anything on me. Really? You got all the way here without any weapons? Lost them. I don't believe you. Seriously? You don't believe me? Go ahead. Search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, Things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. Do for you the taking? Do you know what you took from me? you start on who took what from who? I didn't take her from you. I rescued her from you. Don't you get that? <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? No. That's not true. You didn't care about that woman before holding her back so your friend could bash her dad's brains in? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. It's not my fault. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far, I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. 
You stole that from us. We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lead, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey, I think this is all gonna work out. What are you? I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon, isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Would have come back. That's right, sweet pea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. 
need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. It take you. Yeah. way out through there leads to the other room there's nothing in there can we go yeah of course which way out through there stuff I had to get through a bunch of them to get here that's how we'll get out of Savannah they smell horrible which means you have to, too. Yuck. Okay. Oh, no. Sure. Just a little more. It's so gross. <laughs> there. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe.
Lee, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please, no. Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. They're dead. They really are. Uh, I'm done. We have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! <laughs> See? Clementine, honey. What happened? No, 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 that's, that's not, no, 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 no. Yes, Clem, it is. <laughs> There's no time to be upset. Okay, I'll try not to be. a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Do 
use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. I'll get you in there. Don't worry. You're doing good. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. This'll be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. There's keys. And a gun. You're gonna need both of those. You're doing really good. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Killing them's not easy, but you know what to do. I do. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. But what? Why? No matter what happens, I'm safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with him now. Strap over there. Be careful. And get what you need from him. The keys. And then the gun. Yeah. The keys and the gun. Please don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Get him! Get him! Clem! No! Watch out! Run, Clem! On my turn, honey. And if I do, it won't be good. No, you can't. You can't do that. Trust me, Clem. I don't want to. I'm trying. I'm trying. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. 
Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was standing over Doc holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I'd give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can. Find Omid and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? <laughs> yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. <laughs> Stay away from the cities. Definitely. They're just not worth the risk. And also... What? What is it? <laughs> <laughs>